Melt changed everything. Being one of the three most viewed songs on Nico Nico, you can imagine that Melt didn't just shake the community, it literally flipped it on his head. Released on December the 7th, 2007 by Dio, this song would instantly become a phenomenon. Not only was it the number one song for two weeks straight, it would remain within the top 30 for 61 weeks. Gradually Vocaloid would change, but Mel always remained, seemingly untouched by time. And the community seems to agree. The song jumped all the way back up to number one on its 10th anniversary. Alright, I can already hear you saying, Mel's a popular song, big deal. I didn't need to watch a whole video for you to tell me that. And you know what? You're right. Just because the song's popular doesn't make it the most important. So then why am I making such a big deal about this? Well, it's more about what that popularity did. Here, let's take a closer look. Alright, I hate to sound mean, but I'm gonna be honest. When I listen to most songs posted in 2007, the majority of them are really hard for me to listen to today. It's kind of like a hip-hop fan trying to listen to rap back in the 80s. Everything is just really bare bones. The tuning is very robotic, and even the production is very basic. But the difference here compared to hip-hop is that not only now, but I think even back then, these were the reasons why people couldn't get into Vocaloid. And look, even after 12 years of progress, some people are just never going to get into Vocaloid. That's just the nature of music. But as Casey Livetune puts it, Melt was the song that broke down those walls for most people. I think most people thought Hatsune Miku was a fad, and that she would die out over time. And in most cases, they would be right. However, what Melt did was show people that Vocaloid had potential as a music platform. One successful video is impressive, sure. But two, however, and suddenly you have people's attention. Multiple producers cited later that Melt was the song that introduced them to Vocaloid. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason why this is the most important song ever. Because as cliche as this sounds, Melt was the song that gave them hope. If you don't believe me, here's a list of producers who said Melt has influenced them in some way or another. Most of them were honestly dumbfounded that a song this good could be made in Vocaloid. Because this was the song that told them that maybe, just maybe, I can make it in music. If Miku Miku Nishite Rageru was the spark, then Melt was the flame. Like some classics, when you hear Melt, it might not overwhelm you, or you might not even see the appeal. Heck, you might even be confused why it has so many views as it does. But you have to keep in mind what it did for Vocaloid. You see, Melt was popular at the right place at the right time. Let's go back to 2007. Yes, Hatsune Miku was a phenomenon, but there wasn't a strong community formed around it. For any platform to be successful, you need a foundation, and Melt provided that. This song literally set the bar for producers. It became the standard, the building point moving forward. Yes, the lyrics are nothing impressive today, your standard love song if I'm gonna be honest. But back in 2007, the prevailing mindset was to make songs about Hatsune Miku or lyrics directed towards her. Mel was one of the first songs to change the game by having the creator give a message directly to the listener. While I think the Diva Comes First mindset is still a problem in Vocaloid, Mel helped to gradually lower that expectation. Even from a performance and production standpoint, it was a milestone. Never did people imagine that such emotion could be captured from an artificial voice, but Ryo did it. Its intensity was something just unheard of at that time. The raw drums, the polished tuning, I shouldn't even have to explain it. Literally, just go listen to any song from that time period, and then listen to Melt. The difference should be instantly apparent. So what should we take away from this? Should we praise Melt as the greatest song ever made and Ryo as a god? No, of course not. Heck, Melt isn't even my favorite song of all time, and I'm the one making a video about it. But if there is one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's this. Whether you love or hate this song, at least respect it for what it did. Because I promise you, your favorite producer would not be around today if it wasn't for this song. Thanks for watching. Hello, hello. This is Upna Master. I apologize that this video is shorter than usual. Since I was only doing this video on a single song, I couldn't really flesh it out as much as I did for my other videos. That being said though, this will serve as a hint for my next video. Though when that video comes out, I have no idea. I just started up classes again, so bear with me here as I try to adjust to my new schedule. Uh, when doing research for this video, I actually found out that Melt can be downloaded for free off of Nico Nico. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link in the description. Alright, I think that's about it. Till next time, guys. Bye! <laughs>